Sonny Walters doesn't want to talk <laughs> about. <laughs> no, 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 we're on. You're on. <laughs> we were just talking about the Crows, but you don't want to talk about the Crows. You want to talk about your group and that sensational performance tonight because it was really an arm wrestle, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And coming off two six-day breaks, we knew it was going to be tough, but um, you know, our main focus was to stick to our game plan and we knew our fitness is up, so we just want to play our brand of footy, play our role, and um, you know, and it worked out good in the end. 21 disposals. It's been a while since you've had 21 <laughs> disposals, Sonny. What's going on? Not sure, not sure. I keep saying the young boys are keeping me young. So, no, I've really just been knuckling down, really enjoying my footy, and I feel like it's standing up. So, um, you know, it helps when you're winning, that's for sure. But, um, you know, there's still a lot of water to go under the bridge. We still need to make sure we maintain our composure and, and also get back to it. You've just come out of a, a, a meeting with Justin Lomieux. What was said in there? Yeah, pretty much that. You know, it, you know, it has been a tough um, two weeks, six day breaks, like I said, but we've got a real mature group, and we feel like you know throughout the week we've been we've been knuckling them down, getting our recovery right, and, and making sure that we stick to our processes. And um, and I feel like that's what we've been, what we've been doing essentially. Trust you to rise the, to the occasion of a Good Friday clash in front of 51,000. You must have thought, gee, I'm on tonight in that first half. Yeah, it's crazy because. I'm not sure when's the last time we played a Friday night game, so I think it might have been Melbourne a few years ago. But um, it's always good to get those games, and you know, you know, like I said, you know, the young boys are keeping me young, and it's it's good to get on the on the end of the, a few, but it's not always going to happen. I just need to make sure I stick to it and uh, and get myself out in the park. Uh, three straight wins to start the season, only the third time in club history that you've been able to do that. How do you assess this group and where you're at compared to all the teams that you've been a part of? Yeah, I guess this group just wants to. Each and every day, because it's a young group, we want to get into the club, we want to knuckle down and get as good and um, you know, learn as much as we can each and every day. And I feel like the boys are maturing as a group. Um, every day the boys are doing extra touch sessions, getting there at 7 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, back in the day, Pat, we never really, really did that unless, uh, unless it was in the schedule. But um, these days, like I said, you know, the boys are knuckling down. They're really, they're really digging in and just want to be better as players. Got anything uh, to say the, about that, well, Back in the day, we kicked straight. Two goals, four. <laughs> What's going on with your goal kicking? Yeah, I'd like to think it's under pressure, Pav. But, um, <laughs> nah, two goals for I actually didn't realise that. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, like I said, you know, I just want to get better and better. Even now, I've still got a lot of room for improvement, um, especially with 16 years in the in the system. But I guess I, at, at training, I'm going to have to get back in the goal kick. <laughs> just, just kick it to the big guys. We'll take the rest. <laughs> Sonny, just one more. Tell us about the love and respect for Justin Longmuir. Obviously, mm. was in the news a fair bit when he was re-signed before, uh, before round one for you. Now you've repaid the faith and, and backed him by three straight wins. Yeah, definitely the old fake news, eh? No, but, <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, we back we back JL in. We back his, uh, his game plan in and what he's trying to do for this uh, footy club and the culture. So we back him in 100% and you can see we're reaping our rewards now you just everything takes time and I feel like you know it's starting to it's starting to flow for us and we just want to we just want to keep keep going off to Adelaide now for gather round so you play Carlton uh, next weekend and then you stay there for who do you play after that Port Adelaide so a big couple of weeks on the road yeah definitely and like I said you know we we have to make sure we recover from this um, the boys you know, you know there's obviously some learnings especially over the last two weeks and and leading into today, there's uh, there's a lot of learnings that we need to need to improve on. But you know, we just need to get excited, get over there, build our brand, and and continue to train on because uh, because they're not going to give us those games. We need to make sure that we uh, that we stick to the processes. You got your family and friends in the room here? Yeah, I've got a few in here. Um, all my family <laughs> behind me, so nah, it's good to have them in. It's good to it's good to have an environment where you can bring them in and and let them really enjoy it. Um, you know, you know, 16 years, I'm not going to be around for too much longer, and I want. I want you know, my family, but also everyone else's family to enjoy this moment as well. We'll let you go and enjoy it with them. Thanks, Sonny. No worries. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Good play.